Hey everyone, it's Liz from As You Wish Pottery. Today we're going to do a tutorial on how to do our version of art journaling on a coffee mug. Let's get started. For this project, you're going to want to get your hands on every tool possible in the store. Um, so I've got a handful of things here in front of me. I've got some stamps, some sponges, stencils, silk screens, brushes, uh, puffy paints, fun writers, things like that. Um, so to get started, I'm just going to do some really rough sketching on my mug of just a couple of different ideas I have. You don't have to fill up the whole thing because a lot of it's going to be textured and background. So you can see I've just got a moon and a paintbrush with a heart. Um, I happen to find a moon stamp, which is awesome. You just sponge the paint right onto the stamp and then stamp it onto the piece. Um, and then I'm going to just play with some backgrounds. I'm really gonna do just some heavy one stroke blending, sort of like ombre look, um, purple, pink, orange, blue. Um, yeah, so now's the time just to sort of experiment and play with color and play with technique. Uh, you can have a lot of different styles of painting on this mug, that's sort of the idea. Um, and you'll be surprised, you know, how simple something like three yellow stripes on the side of a mug ends up turning out. So uh, you can see that the background is, I mean, it looks super fun, but it's just, again, really, really simple. So then you're gonna take a stencil, um, and for the stencils, you wanna use a sponge on stick again and sponge some paint lightly over it. Um, you can even blend in a second color if you wanna give it sort of an ombre effect. Um, I've done that here on the Starburst stamp as well. So I've gone purple to yellow there, and that sort of creates this cool like two-tone ombre look. So then I'm just gonna kind of go crazy and stamp the, the rest of the background that feels a little bit plain and needs some texture. Um, and then you can even add some texture and details with your brush too. I love to add these little dashy lines into uh, any space that feels sort of empty. You can use uh, stencils to texturize things. Um, I'm gonna add some texture to my moon here and then do some accent lines with my brush liner so you can really do anything there's no rules um, I'm just kind of playing and, and doing things as I go and just coming up with it as I go um, and just sort of feeling it out and really just enjoying what I'm doing and having fun um, no pressure so once you've got all your color down on the background sort of assess the situation and see uh, what direction you want to move in next I think I want to still add um, a few more elements to the color part of the design. So I'm going to go ahead and do some puddle flowers. Um, so to do that, you literally just make a puddle of paint on the piece um, and then just give it a few minutes to dry. I've also decided I want to add my fingerprints to this mug. Um, because I work with my hands and I want to put my handprints on there. So um, then I've added some black, some more stencils and things like that on there um, just to sort of tie everything in together. And then I'll use a black fun writer to go around and outline um, any elements of the design that I want to be outlined. Um, it's always fun when you add these little dots, sort of like little sprinkles. Um, those really add um, some feeling to the mug. And then um, we have all of our black down. So then I'm gonna take the white puffy paint and uh, outline some of the words um, to just make them a little crisper. Um, sometimes they get sort of blotchy and lost in the, the stenciling process. So this is a really fun way to add some dimension um, and some contrast so that you can see what's going on. And then I've just done some fu quick fun writer stars and here I'm just gonna do some swirlies. Um, so we're really just doodling on this mug at this point. Uh, so I'm gonna let this play out and show you guys sort of how I finish it and it all comes together. So now we're going to add some finishing touches just by making some stripes down the handle using the black fun rider and then I'm going to add a name just to personalize it even more and then I'll finish the black stripes going down the handle um, and then once you finish the handle the next step is to pick any color you'd like and then paint two to three uh, coats of paint on the inside of the mug using your large square brush. Um, and then once you've got the inside of the mug all painted, you're going to use uh, a toothbrush and some black paint to fleckle the inside. 
um, and that's the final step. So once you've done that, um, this is sort of what it should look like once it's all done. You can see all that texture and fun stuff going on in the background. Um, and then we've got all the bright, fun elements of the design um, around the mugs. So I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. For more, check out asyouwishpottery.com and we'll see you later.